Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So basically in today's video we're going to be looking at the whole blood sugar anniversary collection. Oh my god when he revealed this shook. I love the blood sugar palette. It is my favourite palette that Jeffree has ever released. For those of you that know me, you will know this. So, let's jump straight into it. I'm so bloody excited to show you everything. Swatches, all that jazz. Let's do it! <laughs> Hi, new intro, how are y'all? <laughs> so, beginning off, we have this mirror. So this is just your classic star mirror and then it has the red that fades into white. It is beautiful, I love these, they're very lightweight, they're easy to carry. You can see your whole face, you can see all that's going on. Right now I have no foundation on, so it looks a little, ugh. Anyway, moving on. We have the blood sugar in a white packaging. Oh my god, this is so cool. I love how he's done this. It is beautiful. So, here's a close-up. This is what it looks like. Get into it. It is beautiful. And then, honestly, this colour story against white looks so good, you guys. Oh, Like, look at that. That is beautiful. Like, get into it. Oh my god, it is beautiful. And then I do have a brand new red one. I use this basically just to take photos of because I wanted to. I don't know. But yeah, here is what it looks like in the red as well. It is just perfection. I love this palette so much. I've used it so much. It is, yeah, definitely my most used palette from Jeffree Star, hands down. I love it. Moving on. We have the Cavity Palette. Now, this is the outer packaging. I love this so much. It is so sleek and nice and shiny. So fun to take photos of. Oh my god, you guys. I literally spent, like, probably close to two hours taking photos of all this stuff for the Instagram. Anyway, here is the actual packaging of the components. So, as you can see, when my ring light hits, they're shiny. These are coming off of the palette itself. They're like 3D. It is beautiful. They loved this image slash postcard from the Blood Sugar campaign. So, so glad that he like decided to use like shots from the campaign for his packaging. I just think that's so smart. Anyway, when you open her up, this is what she looks like. Here is a close up of all the shades. I accidentally dented that one. And then there is the other three. I love it. I will swatch it soon. I'm just going to show you everything first and then we will get down to swatches. Don't you worry. <laughs> also, before I move on, if you do get it from Jeffree Star Cosmetics website, you get this tissue paper. I collect it all. Oh my god, so obsessed. You get this one and you also get this one. Like, I am a sucker for all of these different tissue papers and especially blood sugar. My favorite. I love it. Oh, and my favorite, this one. Oh, oh my God, it's my favorite. I love it so much. I'm gonna take photos with it, of course. <laughs> okay, so we know that I'm obsessed with packaging. Hi, Blood Sugar Mini packaging, beautiful. I love it, so simple. The glitter writing and then just all white and then it's got all the details on the back, his logo, all of that jazz. Then guys, Another one of my favourite photos from the campaign and he put it right on the Blood Sugar Mini palette. And then when you open her up, oh, we've got a new shade. Say hello to Cavity. And then all the other ones are from Blood Sugar originally, but that middle shade, she's going to be going on my eyes, don't you worry. And then last but certainly not bloody least, I don't even know if it's going to fit in frame. Mama. <laughs> oh, the Blood Sugar Mini Vault. It is currently empty because I've got all the lipsticks out in order to swatch, but oh, it is still so cool. Like you can see all the logos and you can see, oh, I just, 
I love it. And I really wanted to take them all out this time because I've kept my other ones like in the vault and I they're stuck in there forever. I'm not ever going to be able to use them because they are literally stuck. <laughs> so I wanted to get them out of this one so I can actually use them because I love reds, pinks, purples. Not pinks as much, but reds and purples. Love, obviously, reds. My favourite colour. Yes, like, this is just perfection and I can't wait to display it and, like, have a whole blood sugar moment. Oh, my God, I love this. This is my favourite thing from the whole collection, like... The detail is insane, and then when you open her up, it's just like the other vault, but obviously all red. This detail, I love. I don't even know if her camera is picking it up, but oh, game over. Oh my god, obsessed. I'm going to try to keep this in pristine condition because, oh, I love it. I love it! I also forgot to show you these, so this is the new one with the white, and then this is the old one with the red. It says blood sugar on them, they have the star, they're like VS, VHS tapes, what are they called? You know the ones that we used to watch videos on that like don't exist anymore, but like they're iconic, we all know what they are. Those. Anyway, let's get on to some swatches. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch... I'm going to start off with the Cavity Palette, then I'm going to do the Mini Blood Sugar, and then I'm going to do all the shades from the vault on my arm. That's going to take a minute. I'll be right back with swatches. Okay, starting off, we have the Cavity Palette. Then we have Icing IV, which is, it is basically like that white, like, it's like ice cold, but then it has a rose gold shift to it. He's not done something like this, so it's very beautiful and I can't wait to put it on my cheeks. <laughs> then we have Candy Frost. It is like a straight up like bubblegum pink with a silver shift to it. Absolutely beautiful. Then we move on to Rose Cold. I mean, the name says it all, Rose Cold. It is going to look absolutely beautiful on deep skin tones, but for me, I'll definitely use it for eyeshadow. These two shades definitely for eyeshadow, oh my god, love. Then moving on, we have Frozen Prick, which is a really like bright orange with a gold shift to it. It's like a yellowy gold shift as well. It's not like gold gold, if that makes sense. It's like a yellowy bright gold shift to it, which will also be absolutely beautiful and deeper skin tones. And yeah, I want to see what this looks like as blush on me. And this is just going to look like amazing highlighter. Actually, you know what? Let's have a play right now. Let's see what they look like on my cheeks. Okay, so I've zoomed you in so you can see up close. First off, I'm going to go in with Icing IV and pop that on the high points of my cheek. See what that looks like. Ooh, it's like quite subtle actually. But is it buildable? Yes, it is. <gasps> this is actually going to be such a nice like um, everyday shade. Yeah, that rose gold shift is absolutely beautiful. Oh my god, I love. Um, I'm going to go in with my blush brush now. Okay, so I'm just going to change over to this side so the highlight is not distracting. I'm going to go in with Candy Frost and just pop that where I'd normally put my blush, which is here. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh my God, it's like... I don't know if I'm a fan of that. So it's very um, highlighter-y. Uh, it's more highlighter than blush, I would say. But like it definitely casts a shadow on my skin. I don't know if you can see, there's like a pink shadow there. Look, okay, so it's a bit like hard to tell on like a non-foundation skin, but the shift is great. Like the shift is really good. But when you face forward, you can see the pink and I just don't think it's gonna look good on top of foundation. Um, it is hard to tell on just my normal skin, but I just don't think I'll like it as like a blush. And I'm not really a fan of shimmery blushes anyway, so I did have a feeling that I might not like this. But if you do love a shimmery blush, it is beautiful and the shift is incredible. It's literally like you've got blush and then you've actually got highlighter on at the same time. Really, really nice, but yeah, just not for me. I love icing IV though. Okay, so here is the mini blood sugar swatched. First up, we have glucose. Then we have sugar cane. Then we have ouch. Then we have candy floss. And then the <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? Look at this shade. Uh, wisdom. 
It is my new favourite red shade from uh, Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So that's that one there, which is beautiful and red. And oh my god, yes! I'm so glad he did that. Like, oh my god. Okay. Moving on, we have sweetener, then we have prick. Now my prick is really dry in my original like blood sugar palette, so I had to like scrub my finger to get in there. It's not giving me the payoff that I need, but like when I use a brush, it's okay. But yeah, it's it's a great shade. It's just mine's dry, so it's swatched really badly. Moving on, we have cherry soda, and then we have coma. So yeah, I didn't want to swatch from the actual mini blood sugar besides wisdom, obviously because. I haven't used it before. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy another one just for keepsakes and like photo sakes because it is perfection and I love it with my whole heart and everything and more. But yeah, here is the swatches. Oh my god. Beautiful. Literally just buy it for the shade. Oh my god, it is stunning. Oh, and you guys know how I like to compare shades. So, this is Cavity, and then this is And What from the Jawbreaker palette. So you can see how much brighter and like true to red it is. I find that And What is a little bit more like pinky berry toned, but like, oh my god, Cavity just stands out so much better than that. I am obsessed. Okay, now I'm going to swatch in order of the vault all of the mini velour liquid lipsticks that you will find in the vault, which is going to take me quite a while, but it's only going to take two seconds for you. So, see you in two seconds. But for me, it's probably going to be like two hours. <laughs> okay, so here are all the shades. Coming down the line, we have Bubblegum, Romeo, Cavity, Queen Supreme, Diva, Doll Parts, Sweet Tooth, Sugar Spike, Candy Joint, Prom Night, Prick, Fire Starter, Pink Veins, Cherry Wet, Cherry Soda, Sucker Punch, Red Rum, Wifey, Heart Rate, Heart Beat, and the last row, Pink House, Forbidden Fruit, Unicorn Blood, Bite My Tongue, and Misery. Oh my god, so many shades. So my favourites definitely are Oh my god, Prick and Fire Sada. I love Fire Sada from the Velour Velvet Traps. I'm loving this shade. What is that one called again? Cherry Soda. And Sucker Punch is beautiful. And I really love uh, Heartbeat. And Oh my god, Misery is so nice as well. Yeah, lots of really nice shades. They do look a lot like... There is a lot of similar shades, but they all have different undertones and like slight tweaks, which makes them like different from each other, if that makes sense. Okay, now let's put it all on my face. <laughs> okay, now that all the swatches are out the way, I am going to put it on my face. I can't wait. I'm actually gonna do this Instagram style just to speed this video up a bit. And then let's talk about everything. I'll talk about prices and when it launches and where you can buy this collection and all that jazz. But yeah, let's have a play with the anniversary collection.
Okay guys, so we've had a play with the whole collection. Now let's talk about everything that's releasing. It's releasing 10 a.m. PST, which is probably in a few hours after I get this video up. <laughs> and yeah, let's go through prices. So first up we have the mirror, which is going to be 25 US dollars. I love them. If you collect them, then you will love this one. I mean, you'll need this in your collection if you collect them. But yeah, I love the mirrors and I collect them and I use them in all my videos. So that's the mirror. Love it. The classic blood sugar palette is going to be 52 US dollars. It's about 80 Australian, I believe. Add like 10 or 15 dollars onto the American price and you get the Australian price. The Blood Sugar Mini is going to be 28 US dollar. The Vault, I'm not going to hold it right now because it's all the way over there and I can't be asked, is 160 US dollars. About 220 Australian dollars. And the Cavity Palette is 38 US dollars to finish off. And he's also got some bloody bundles. So for the whole Blood Sugar Anniversary moment, it is 250 US dollars. So basically everything that I use in today's video will be 250 US dollars. If you just want all the palettes, it is going to be 100 US dollars. If you just want the Blood Sugar and the Blood Sugar Mini, it is going to be 70 US dollars. And then last but not least, the hoodie, which I've got my eye on, is going to be 55 US dollars for the hoodie. And then for the joggers, let me just look it up right now, 45 US dollars. Yes, God. Everything releases 10 a.m. PST time, <laughs> um, which is about 3.30 a.m. for me in Australia or 4.30 a.m. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But yes, it releases very soon, today, tonight, wherever you are, and I am so excited. I hope you all can get your hands on what you want. It is so good. The mini blood sugar is a must, and the vault is a must. Like, if I wasn't on PR, those would be the two. I'd be actually be getting everything, let's not tell a lie. I would be getting everything, but if you want only one thing, I would go for the Vault or the Mini because those are the standouts for me. But yeah guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. I really hope you can score what you're after. And if you haven't already, I would literally love if you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, but I don't expect it because I have lost so many followers lately on Instagram. It is, um, I started like, I don't know, I had 12k at one point and now I'm down to 11.6. So I lost thousands of followers, I don't know where, but yeah. Anyway, I'm going to keep on going and keep on putting videos because that makes me happy and I don't care about followers anyway. So, yes. Happy Blood Sugar Anniversary and I will see you in the next one. There's going to be a couple more videos with this collection coming your way as well. I'll see you then. Bye.